Hi, this is Jamie Green. I want to talk to you today about one of my uh, specialties, really, and that is anxiety. And then it's, um, it's a very misunderstood topic, and yet everybody seems to be riddled with it. And there's a misconception about anxiety, incidentally, which is that somehow we should get rid of it. You know, whatever that means, take Xanax, go to a shrink, do some kind of desensitization, conditioning something to get rid of it. And, and that's the biggest fallacy about anxiety. You actually don't want to get rid of it. Anxiety is your friend. It's a, it's a support system. So I use the analogy of a smoke alarm, right? Is the smoke alarm good or bad? Well, of course, it depends if it's working the way it should. So if it's, if it's not working at all and it's, and it's cut off, the battery's dead, it, your house can bloody burn down. And if it's calibrated too sensitively, every time you open the door, it goes off, it will make you insane. So the idea is that we want an early warning detection system to let us know at a level that's manageable that something's up. So if it's a bagel caught in the toast of the smoking, no big deal. If it's a house engulfed in flames, we have a major crisis here. So another way to look at it is, you know, the lights that go on in your dashboard. In your car when you're driving, there's an oil light that goes on. Well, when the oil light goes on, you don't panic and screech to a halt. You know that within, you know, a week, two weeks, you should check the oil and make sure it's good because it's early enough letting you know before there's a crisis. If you wait until smoke is coming out of the hood, it's too late. So in the same way, anxiety is very, very, very precious to us. It helps us actually recognize when there's something we need to take uh, pay attention to while we can still take care of it, a level that's manageable. So for all of you rageaholics that are raging and screaming, it probably means that you're disconnected from agitation at a level that's manageable. And so it waits till, you know, you explode. Or if you have panic attacks, I'm sure any of you watching this, if you've had a panic attack, you've ended up in the ER. Why? Because it simulates a heart attack. It's as brutal as a heart attack. It's scary. There's just no damage to the heart muscle. And they embarrass you and say, you're fine, go see a shrink. So I'm saving you all that time. Just know that anxiety is something that we need to really have a good relationship with and pay attention to and always be okay knowing that if you have some anxiety, it probably means that you need to have some alertness, some good healthy awareness and alertness around you and you'll be totally fine, right? No need to panic. Thanks.